Good morning, guys. Hope you're having a good day so far. So if you saw my last YouTube story, my last YouTube short, um, you would see that we got a steering wheel. It is not just any steering wheel. It is the Raptor steering wheel. And we are going to be installing this. I do have a harness for it. Um, that's why I was kind of waiting for this video to... to to kind of make it because the harness kind of took a little while to get here. Um, I do have a harness for it for the paddle shifters. However, it is super cold here. It's like 29 degrees and I don't want to break any of my met plastic, plastic, not metal, plastic tips or plastic parts inside the truck. So we're going to be waiting a little bit on the harness install, um, but I will at least be installing this Raptor steering wheel for us today. And I am super excited. I don't want to take anything off yet until I get the... Um, until I get the video kind of going a little bit. Um, I want to preserve this, this nice leather as much as possible. So the truck does have the Lariat uh, steering wheel. So it is somewhat nice, just not as nice as this bad boy. So sit back, relax, enjoy the video. It is the season to be jolly. So give this video a like for me. And let's go ahead and install this new steering wheel into the truck. As you can see, the uh, hood is already popped up. We did go ahead and disconnect the battery. So that way the steering wheel doesn't uh, hurt the airbag, however. It doesn't pop in my face and give me a black eye for the holidays. Um, so that has been disconnected for about 15 minutes now. Let's go ahead and install this uh, steering wheel here. Let's get it. All right, so this is my steering wheel. This is the baby that I've been looking at for about 37,000 miles. Like I said, it is kind of nice. It's just not as nice as the Raptor. I will, of course, be keeping this uh, trim package or this uh, this outer outer piece. I'll just be swapping this piece over with the Raptor one because these buttons are a little bit different. And I'll, of course, show you that a little bit later on. But make sure that your truck is completely dead. Um, once when it is, you're gonna there's a little hole right here. You're going to stick an Allen key um, into that hole. There's one on this side, one on the passenger side as well of the steering wheel. That'll actually help pop this airbag out. Um, if the airbag was or if the truck was on and it did have power, as you can see, there's, as you can see, there's no power here. Um, we are totally good to go on power. If the truck was on and I were to clip those, poof. So make sure that your truck is off. Anyways, let's go ahead. Let me figure out which Allen key works best. I'll let you know. And I will uh, take this little airbag. Alrighty guys, so I already did this side. You can tell it's a little loose there. On um, this side, pretty much, I don't know if I'll be able to kind of do this, but you just push I'm a little, little hard. See if I can prop this up. Hopefully you can see something. You just push really hard and then it should come off just like that. There we go. And now, if you look inside, we're gonna need to take these two connections off and then there's a little piece here for the airbag as well. Um, so you're gonna use a very thin slotted screwdriver see if I can do this just by looking through my phone. You're gonna wanna pop that. Pop that. And then both of these should just come off. There's one. Come on, baby. There's two, and you want to make sure that you hold on to it because there is a wire here. Um, so now we need to go ahead and take that off. All right, so if you just pull up a little bit, there is a little plastic piece uh, that kind of slides in, as you can see right there and right here. Guys, I'm not going to lie. Taking this piece off was a bigger pain in the butt than I thought. I, I got a little I got a little yaya -ya there too. But the airbag has been finally removed. Now, all we need to do is unplug some of these wires here. There's one right here. Um, the, main, the main one that we need to unplug here. You just press the top. And that one gets disconnected there. And then uh, once when I undo this big bolt here, um, everything else should pretty much fall out and then we can take it back to the bench and then I can kind of swab this. Um, trim piece with the other one since in, since this trim piece matches everything else a lot better all right guys so i got my 15 16s here just gotta gotta hold on to the to the steering wheel a little bit Ooh, there we go all right All right, so there's 
the bolt and now the steering wheel should just come off you thread these little cables out there we go steering wheel is out Woo! all right guys so here all right guys so here is the raptor steering wheel here is my steering wheel the uh you can tell this is a little bit darker um then this one this one is of course uh, smooth whereas this one is more rough and rugged probably because it's part of the raptor part um so see how these buttons are different so there's the mute and the uh and the heated heated steering wheel this one is different this one has the mute but there's no heated steering wheel because i don't have the heated steering wheel option so all i need to do if you can see right there there's a little pry area um so you just need to pry this piece off um pry this piece off pretty much swap them plug the wires back into place and that's pretty much it so um, I'm going to go ahead and try to take this part off first. And once when I get it off, I'll kind of let you know the insides and, and what everything looks like. And then we can kind of go from there. All right. Cool. Alrighty, guys. So I was able to pop the, uh, the trim piece off here. Uh, so the trim piece is right here. Everything works totally fine. Um, pretty much for these little back pieces, there's a, if you can see there, a little plastic tab that you just push down and then pull it out. And these come right out. So um, I'm going to go ahead and actually unwrap the steering wheel here. Um, see if I can take this piece off without breaking anything. If I can, great. Then I'll go ahead and swap this on. Hopefully, um, there's no casualties and everything goes pretty smoothly here. Alrighty, guys. So, the Raptor uh, faceplate is out. I'm going to put the new faceplate in. As you can see with the Raptor one, um, since it does have a heated steering wheel, this is the heated steering wheel column for this cloth. Um, this would then go ahead and connect right in there. Since we don't really have the heated steering wheel and everything like that, um, the harness will still be pretty much the exact same. Um, it's just it's going to be a little bit different because of the um, kind of cables that we have here. So we'll just go ahead and uh, pretty much leave everything as is. We're going to swap everything over and we should be good to go. Alrighty guys, so back in the truck, we got our Raptor steering wheel here. This bottom cable we're not going to use because obviously there's no place to uh, put it. Um, that's more for the uh, performance um, buttons that we, of course, don't have because we're just playing F-150. So pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to run these wires up here next to this little power outlet. And that's going to go through. We're going to make sure that we line up center nut here with our two prongs. And that's pretty much how we're going to put it on. So I can't do this, of course, with one hand. So bear with me here. Um, I'm going to set you guys down. We're going to go ahead, pull these through here, and then we're going to line everything up, and then I'm just going to get the uh, bolt started here. All right, guys, so I did go ahead and plug that in. We are going to just thread this on there until it gets snug. We're going to tighten it up and then torque it down to, I believe it's like 40, 40 foot-pounds, I want to say. So we'll go ahead and hold the steering wheel on here. until it gets tight because it does have red loctite on there once when it's fairly tight which it's not we're going to torque it down all right so now that's tight i'm going to move it on to my torque wrench and then i'm going to torque it down all right guys now we are torqued down i'm going to go ahead and install this little red pin here then I'm going to install these two clips as well. Um, the steering wheel should, in theory, just push in here and um, be nice and seated. And that's pretty much it to connect the battery and hopefully the airbag doesn't go off. Let's go. All right. So as you can see, we have everything connected here. Steering wheel should just pop back in. So let's go ahead and get it seated right there. And you should hear two little snaps for the springs. All right, guys, so we did go ahead and connect the battery. But now we just got to make sure that everything works here. Okay. Okay, okay. No copyright. Okay. Those work. Perfect. Screw control probably works. Let's try this side mode. So mode works. Perfect, so all of those work here. Volume works. See if I can get a station. Please visit 
And let's try to mute. It works. Perfect. So everything works here. Now I can go ahead and take this off. Um, and that's pretty much it. You need to stay tuned for part two where we do with the wiring harness. Like I said, it's a little too cold. And here it's at least 42, so that's nice. Um, but I'll go ahead and take this off and that'll pretty much conclude the video. So give me just one second here, guys. I'm gonna lie, this steering wheel feels so much better. I know people always talk about how the Raptor steering wheel just feels so much better than the stock one, but I'm I'm not lying. This one feels so nice. It is. It has like perforated leather right here. It is nice and thick, so you have something to grip onto. The the little back end right, but next to the uh, next to the paddle shifters, there's a little a little lip, so that way your fingers can sit right there. This one is super super nice. I never realized how nice these were. Um, but that is pretty much going to conclude this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. Horn works, so we are good. Airbag did not deploy, so that is good as well. Hopefully it doesn't deploy as I'm driving later tonight. I will, of course, keep you guys updated. And then for these paddle shifters, um, another video will be coming. I do have the Grey Goose boosted, uh, Grey, Grey, Grey Goose, Grey Goose boosted parts anyways i'll uh i'll let you know a little bit more about that later on um but i do have their harness inside the house um i will need to of course um make sure that it is nice and warm so i don't break any of the clips i'm not sure if you guys kind of know uh, what the process is but their instructions are pretty detailed pretty much what they say is you have to take this piece off here um you have to take this piece off take off all your center console because i have the um center console um shifter so in here there's a little wire that i have to disconnect uh reconnect it with their thing and then kind of run it under here up here and then into the steering wheel itself and that'll actually keep these uh, from working if you've uh, seen any of the videos where they have a column shifter that is a lot easier because everything is just right here um, unfortunately i picked this this route here and it's going to take a little bit more time than normal to uh, kind of get the wiring done but i do have the wire i will be posting a video installing that once when it gets a little bit warmer so make sure you click uh, the subscribe button and stay tuned for that but this steering wheel is super nice um hopefully i can get us a, a pov um eventually but nice red steering wheel um center line here so you know exactly where your wheel is when you're when you're racing can't really complain about it at all there's nothing really to complain about other than the paddle shifters don't work but that will be changing soon i'm really glad the airbag didn't go off because i was kind of scared about that not gonna lie and we are totally good to go but he wants to buy my outer thing for the raptor let me know it's just sitting on that bench over there and that's pretty much it steelers won today against the panthers go steelers hopefully you liked it give it a thumbs up still in the merry season um make sure you hit the like button subscribe i will see you guys next time make sure to check out my instagram you guys have a great rest of your day thank you very much for watching peace out go scout